Reese Riverall had gone in for the night when he heard the sound of stones on his roof. That led him outside to investigate and brought him face to face with his killer. Yes, he was inside his house and he heard a, a, a song like um, a stone hitting his roof. So he proceeded to go outside to see exactly who was it or what was it. And when he went outside, he didn't see anyone. So Reese went back inside his house and um, he, he told his girlfriend that he felt a little peckish and he heard the, the thump again on his rooftop. So he went back outside and when he went back outside, he noticed no one was there but turning away from the direction like towards the, the, um, the roadside, turning his, his body going back inside that's when he was shot in his back he got one shot but at a close range that shot was at a close range because from the footage that we have you know we saw exactly that it was close and before he died he he yelled for his um, girlfriend and he told her babe babe I get shot are dead and he hit the ground and that was it no pulse no nothing no breath nothing that was it I don't know why they would want to target my little brother because he's like a gentle giant you know um, Reese doesn't trouble anyone unless you trouble him you know he's a protector he has two little sons a six month old and a three months old that just turned three months old today to get this news last night, it's really devastating. I mean, they did. I mean, they did so so much to him that I don't know. I can't even explain. I mean, he didn't deserve this, really and truly. I want to come back to what you said, though. They did so much to him. You mean that in the sense of not just the physical, but of how this has really destroyed his young family and your yes. wife. Yes, because we have a big family. I mean, we we are a family of nine kids, and he is the fifth out of the nine. And my little brother was, you know, trying his best to work. Any little jobs that he get, he works for his family to take care of his two sons. You know, to make to let someone do this to him. Is, it's uncalled for. And Royanne says what breaks her heart is the crushing reality that she'll never again share even commonplace moments with her baby brother. To be honest, I don't know. Um, I'm never going to hear his voice. I'm never going to hear his laughter. I'm never going to ask him to do me some favors anymore. I mean, as his big sister, you know, He's always there for me and my kids. And he's always there to give a helping hand to anyone. So to go through this, it's, it's just heartbreaking. Sharice Haltel, 7 News.